We should do it? No. We just realized my duffel bag's missing. It's got my drone in it. It's got clothes in it. It's got camera gear in it. We gotta go find it. It is about dang time. In Colorado, one of the most beautiful states. Look at that view back there, woo. Today we're taking our bike. She's on her uh, Kawasaki 250, KLX 250 to be exact. How's it performing? <laughs> <laughs> Lack of. <laughs> yeah, there's not much else there. We're really thinking about upgrading her bike. Me, I'm gonna be taking my Harley Davidson Sportster turned into a dirt bike. And we're gonna be taking you all on a road called Pole Hill which is just outside of Estes Park. It's supposed to be about a two hour off-road ride and we might be doing it through a thunderstorm because while well, we waited until it started thundering to go for a ride today. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> been a while since you've seen Ashley in my videos because I've been on the road here to Colorado and she just flew out yesterday to join us. Uh, and I'm excited because after this trip, we go to Sturgis and then uh, back to the K River campground and I make you my wife. And we get married. We get married. And all of you are invited. It's uh, September 10th at the K River Campground. I hope a ton of motorcycles show up. We're not going to break the Guinness Book World Record for the largest motorcycle wedding because Guinness Book demanded I pay them $9,000 in order to break their record officially. But I hope we break it unofficially nonetheless. Take a ride on the wild side, it says. Looks like they're doing some tours up here. The touring. The tour town. It's a tour town. We're going to do a little tour loop. Oh, are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for that? I mean, do you want me to go first? I'm gonna hug it to the right. I mean, I would hug it to the left, but I'm gonna go to the right so you can follow my track. All right, you go first, one. Just stay on the throttle. Keep that front end light. Keep your butt back. Well. <laughs> yeah, you hit that soft stuff right there. You can see your track came up. Uh -huh. But it don't get no better going up there. Do you think I should follow this side? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely don't want you going off that side. path I took is pretty easy. Just go nice and slow and steady. Good girl. Good job. Let's go take a look over this cliff. You did it, baby. Yay! Only one fall though. 15 minutes on the dirt bike. That's why I saw a crash. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it though because I guarantee you this view is worth every second of that. Look at this. Whew. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are up here. That's you know, gorgeous. Do you know what's crazy? What? Is that people physically hike and walk this instead of riding on something. <laughs> <laughs>
down there to scope it. It's pretty cool. See all these white trees? They're all aspen trees. So we're basically riding through an aspen forest in the Rocky Mountains. Life is beautiful. You think we should do it? No. No? There's a lot of ruts. And my bike eats the ruts and then I eat the ground every time. No shame in that, baby. No shame in that at all. You ride safe. You do not want to get hurt way up here in these Rockies. Nope. All right, we are, uh, we are definitely getting some rain out here, getting a little bit wet. So I've got the Baja Design uh, gear by Climb and it's breathable and it's amazing in the heat. It's like having air conditioning in your clothes. Ashley has got the Revit set and hers is a little bit more waterproof. She's actually got Gore-Tex in it. So yeah. she's a bit dry and I'm soaking wet and the temperatures aren't great. <laughs> Let's be honest. We just realized my duffel bag's missing. It's got my drone in it. It's got clothes in it. It's got camera gear in it. Oh, we, gotta man. Go find it. we gotta go find it. Are you okay? Oh, you found it? I rode right past it. But you found it. Yes, because you were going too damn fast and you don't slow down. Cause I, I'm glad I got you talking to me like this on film. <laughs> so everybody knows what I really deal with. You do go fast. But I had no faith that we were going to find it. <laughs> but we did. And where was it? It was laying in the grass, like on the side. Well, I think it's in there good now. I'm glad we found it. High five to the lady in black. <laughs> <laughs> And the view is amazing. I guess now that we've got the drone back, we should put it up and let everybody get a view. Oh, absolutely, we should. Let's do it. Oh, that's pretty though. <laughs> It's not the look out we were thinking it was. I thought it was, was going to come up over this and it was just going to be all beautiful. I mean, not that it's not beautiful. It's still pretty dang beautiful. I love Colorado. Me too. That is a hell of a view. I can't breathe. You can't breathe? <laughs> no. The elevation. <laughs> <laughs> I could do this every day. Oh. Every damn day. We'd be in better shape if we did this every day. That's the yeah. truth. <clears throat> Just to uh, give you all a good idea of what we're dealing with here. These are very, very steep. Like that's a big drop off. Nothing's angled correctly. You got loose sand in between. This is a difficult climb. All right, baby. It's all you. Like a dream, look at it go. Ain't no thing. <laughs> yeah, that's a good bike for that. The suspension's good, but I will say, I have yet, I've flown over this stuff at pretty good speeds and yet to bottom out my suspension. I get that legend <laughs> suspension in the rear and it's eating up everything I've thrown at it. And this uh, 450 front end is doing the same. Just eats this stuff alive. I think I'd take the right because it's a better track and I don't think we're gonna go off the edge. That was fun. I highly recommend if you're in this area come into Pine Hole. Pine Hole? What's it called? Hole. Hill. Hill. Pine Hill. <laughs> Good God, baby. <laughs> Anyhow, it was absolutely beautiful. The riding was, I would say, uh, fairly easy except for the beginning and the end. Yeah. Those are pretty. Pretty tricky, but uh, other than that, the riding was pretty easy, enjoyable. 
uh, you can get up some speed and some gorgeous views. But there's so many trails that veer off that look like they could become more difficult. Mm -hmm. Like the one I didn't go down. Like the one you didn't go down. Well, I'm <laughs> glad you didn't. Sometimes that's, you know, being uh, overly brave isn't, isn't cool, man. You know, ride your ride, mm -hmm. no matter you're on street or dirt, ride your ride. And that's always been my advice to her. Um, I've always tried to just ride not above your level. I try to ride. If you're a better rider than your partner, not saying I'm a better rider than you. Oh, really? Like everybody don't know you're a better rider. <laughs> but if you're a better rider than your partner, it's your job to ride at their level. Um, you know. But you did drop it. I did. I dropped it going up. I got in sand and it slid out from under me. Didn't stop you though. No. You stayed stubborn. Yeah. Finished the ride. That's what I'm talking about. It was beautiful. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to call it a night. Uh, We'll catch you up some more videos. She's gonna be with me for the next week. Yay! So lots of videos with me and Ashley riding motorcycles around the country coming at you. Some on and some off. Whatever it is you want out of life. You put your mind to it, you stay focused, you stay stubborn, and we'll see you in the next video. And buy the damn motorcycle. And oh, my! how about we bring back the old one? Dream until your dreams come true. <laughs>